Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial about how to access Handshake as an alum of Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. To start with, I'll be taking you to the Embry-Riddle Career Services website. Click on the first link. Click on Resources. Click on Handshake. And you're able to see a, a neat, handy-dandy webpage about how to access Handshake whether you're a current student or if you're an alum of the university. Scroll down, you're gonna see a blurb about student login. Please go through Ernie, ernie.erau.edu. Scroll down, you're gonna see a blurb about alumni login, all right? So please click on this tab to go to erau.joinhandshake.com and you're able to see the rest of the steps as well. I'll walk you through them step by step. You want to click on sign in with your email address. If you remember your school email address, your ERAU email, that'd be great. I'm going to use my administrative account. Next. And once you see this eagle seal, this eagle symbol, that's where you know, that's how you know uh, this is the right accounts. This is the right uh, ERAU handshake network. Okay. You want to log in using your handshake credentials. That means putting in your password. There's going to be an option if you forgot your password, but if you do remember it, it's still active, you just want to log in. All right. Oops, I used the wrong password. And then that's the one. You're on the home page of Handshake. Going back to the steps, I did number two, sign in with your email address. That's where you click on sign in with your credentials. If you remember your school.edu email address, great, fantastic. Your uh, ERAU email address is active for around six to nine or 12 months after you graduate from the university. If not, you may have used a more personal email in Handshake since then. It could be a Yahoo, it could be a Gmail, it could be an Outlook email, whatever it may be. You want to click on using your email and password that you registered, you sign up with. Step number five, if you were a first time user, you do want to set a new password. It may prompt you to set a new password. Or if you've already accessed Handshake as an alum, you want to enter your password again. If, for example, maybe if your email addresses, your either your ERAU email address or your personal email was not recognized by Handshake, you do want to request a new account. So by going to this URL, erau.joinhandshake.com slash register. And then once you've activated your account, I've already done so. I've already specified my preferences, uh, what I'm looking for if I were a job seeker. Uh, once you do log into Handshake for the first time, it's going to ask you a bunch of questions. There's going to be many boxes and options for you to fill out, such as if you're interested in part-time, full-time, internships, co-ops, what industries you're, you're looking for, aviation, aerospace, business, communications. All of those industries, all those boxes are there for you to select. I've already selected them, so that way, uh, you're not able to see that right now, but in case it is pretty uh, simple and straightforward to select those options, select those questions. And once you've selected all those questions, this is the home page you're going to run into. All right. So step seven is just informing you of what resources, what tabs, what features is available to you on Handshake. So I'll walk you through Handshake. You're going to see a tabs for jobs events, Q&A, students, messages, and career center, and of course your profile here. I'll start with jobs. You're able to search by positions, whether it be full-time, internship, if you're interested, if you were a student back in the day uh, on campus, or if you're a current student, you could definitely select on campus as well. Events, you're able to see all the events happening 
from either the current date that you log into to anything else for the future. This one goes all the way up until May 14. There are events happening until May 14. From April 6 to, it's an ongoing, there are series that are ongoing, so you're gonna see events that will say from one day to the next, and you're able to look at events and view them and, and see what's available to you as an alum. The Q&A function is very useful as well because you're able to see different questions that handshake users from not only Embry-Riddle, but users from many, many institutions. More than 700 plus universities worldwide use Handshake as their career management system. If you're interested in what does a sustainability African intern at Clear Water, Clean Water Action usually do, you're able to look at what this user replied back with. Students is generally, if you want to reach out to a particular student, if you're interested in looking uh, what they've done in the past, what they're doing right now, and you have questions you want to ask them about the position, about how they were able to use different skills and responsibilities for a set position, you're able to do that. Messages is essentially um, a direct messaging system, and you're able to look at different alumni and students and pretty much private or personal message them. I've been working with an alum as well recently. Career Center. Now this is definitely the one of the most useful functions of Handshake. Uh, of course they all are, but this one is definitely particularly useful. Appointments, you could schedule an appointment to see your program manager. You could see resources anywhere from big interview to going global to career shift. And if you were a student before, you could see different options about co-ops and internships, but as of now you're an alum, uh, you're able to see other resources as well. I'll, I'll show you. Anywhere from deactivating your handshake account to changing your preferred name, career spots videos, resume cover letter samples as well. And that's pretty much it. For the Career Center, oh, I do want to mention if you are interested in seeing or attending future Career Expos, you're able to do that as well. Uh, just know that even though you've graduated as an alum of Embry-Riddle, you're able to attend any and all future career fairs. Upcoming events. Now, the last portion I want to talk about is the profile section. You want to be able to build your profile anywhere from adding your education to adding your work experiences, organizations you were involved with, your projects, your courses, your, interested, your, your interests as well, your skills. And you're able to upload your resume documents. I've already uploaded a resume, so it's gonna look different from what you have. If you are uploading a document for the first time, it's gonna have a giant document icon. Um, otherwise, if you've already uploaded a document, it's gonna look something similar to this. And that's pretty much it about Handshake. If you have any questions, please feel free to like this video, ask any questions down in the comments below. Otherwise, we look forward to working with you. Thank you.